Yo, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another video and today we're doing something that a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do. We've been inconsistent on YouTube, I already know. I do want to admit that I am not excited to do this. You don't already know, I religiously just love iPhones. Last year was the first year that I got into Samsung and I switched over for a bit and I had the Samsung S23 Ultra. That honestly surprised me, so I'm expecting to hopefully be surprised again. I don't know though, but we're gonna get right into it. So first we have this beautiful box. I think personally Samsung a little bit better of an unboxing process from last time. I think the unboxing process was a lot better. I did already unseal it so we won't have that satisfaction in this video. Opening it up we have the phone itself. So in the unboxing process, you know, we have the SIM card for T-Mobile along with the packaging, everything in here. So you get the USB type C port. Um, iPhone just got on that game last year. For some reason, iPhone is just slow with so much that they do. I don't know why, but I guess they just don't have to be fast with it because people are still gonna buy it regardless. But then the best part is the actual Samsung. Now I will say, I did not see this. Okay. Okay, I didn't see this color before anything, and I just wanna say, this is the most beautiful color that I think I've gotten so far. Last year I had the, I think it was bright pink, and this year, this is kinda like a darker tone purple, and uh, this looks absolutely stunning. If we're gonna compare this here, looks-wise and aesthetically pleasing, the Samsung definitely takes it. Samsung, in my opinion, just looks so much better. Like, having all three cameras in this tri setup for the iPhone, just it just doesn't look as good and as clean as the triple camera setup that they have going on and the two right next to it. It's just super symmetrical, simple. It just looks a lot cleaner than iPhone and then iPhone has this kind of like, I'm gonna give this to Samsung. And then when we're talking about Samsung as well, just look at the way that they have this entire phone built. I think the biggest negative, I honestly don't like square phones. And, and I know this isn't exactly square. I think they could have done a better job with just rounding out those edges. But so far, it looks absolutely stunning. I mean, the build quality just looks a lot better than iPhone and it looks like it's just well-rounded, done phone. The speaker, the SIM card, and you have the button controls on the side. And if I'm also not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Samsung also has a titanium frame on this phone this year. We're gonna get into the turning on process because I am excited to really get this set up and get this going. Oh, I put fingerprints all over this. Hold up. Let's turn it on for the first time. Ooh, Samsung Galaxy. That is so beautiful. I love the way that Samsung just produces their phones. All right, so it already turned on, but it does have a 6.8 inch display screen. So I think that is a tad bit bigger than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It has a Snapdragon 8 third gen processor. So this thing is really gonna be beefy when setting it up. And I already know this is gonna be something that I'm excited for. I do really get excited. I don't know what it is, but I do get a lot more excited in this unboxing process than I do with iPhone. It just feels so new every time you open it up and uh, I'm I'm actually excited. I'm gonna set it up manually. That's another thing that I didn't talk, I talked about in my last video, but the fact that you can have an easy setup with your Samsung, and I don't just mean having like on iPhone, you know, you can have iCloud and stuff like that, but if you actually have an iPhone or other phones that isn't a Samsung, you can set up your phone and transfer everything over. That You can't do that with iPhone. That is actually so cool. And I learned that for the first time last year. And uh, I was looking at the comments of my last video and you guys were telling me a lot of things about Samsung, what I needed to do to also set it up. So I'll make sure to do that in this video as well. So I'll, 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 I read the comments, I see you guys. All right, so now we're getting our phone ready and set up. It's gonna take a few minutes. So the version that I got, I'm pretty sure this is the 256 gigabyte version of storage. Also has 12 gigabytes of RAM. And I think one of the more excited things that I'm really ready to get into with this phone is um, the camera. I think the camera every single year just surprises me. I think the switch over to, from having an iPhone camera to a Samsung camera. All right, I do wanna see how fast it takes for it to recognize my face. Oh my goodness gracious. Yo, yo, I just loaded it up and it already, there's no way it knows my whole face from two seconds, right? Wait, can I test it out right now? Oh my gosh, and it already works. And look at that, repeat the lock screen. Oh, that dynamic lock screen, and that is fat, yo. 
Really? It's really that fast? Nah, that's weird. It's that fast? When did it get that fast? That's like 10 times faster than the iPhone process. I swear, the iPhone, you're sitting here for at least like two minutes just doing this, just going all around your face and it like messes up, tries to redo it, tries to resync or recalibrate. Seems like they are making these phones better and better or I'm just missing out. I don't know what it is, bro. But I'm happy to switch this year talk to me. We would normally do dark mode, but for the video, we're gonna do light so that you guys can see. If you unironically use light mode, I have nothing to say to you. I'm just gonna leave that there. All right, so off rip, let's compare the sizing. You can already see the only thing that I think so far that I just love about the iPhone is the fact that it's, the Samsung is obviously much bigger. The screen is much bigger. The bezel is a little bit thinner on the Samsung than it is with the iPhone. As for the settings, it's still installing things and setting up, so it may be a little bit slower than it normally would. We're gonna move it up to full brightness. We're gonna see which one is brighter. The Samsung doesn't look bright. I thought the Samsung was supposed to be brighter than the iPhone. I think someone left in the comments something about a setting that I need to have on display. Adaptive brightness is on. Extra brightness, nah, that's crazy. I do have, a, and this is maybe for like people who are watching from Samsung and just people that are like constantly use Samsung. Why don't they have settings already on here that are like the best for the phone? All right, so this is the max brightness for the Samsung versus the iPhone. It is definitely much brighter. I feel like there are just so many different settings for the Samsung. These feel so relaxing, honestly. What I noticed about the Samsung, just tones in general, they don't sound alarming. Like they sound almost relaxing and it's soothing compared to like the, the iPhones. I know so many people that have iPhones, you know what I'm talking about. When hearing certain tones with the iPhone, like even the, um, what is it? It's certain ringtones that you just get PTSD from. We're gonna talk about the fact that the Samsung has a pin. I usually don't use the pin. I should, wow, I cannot pick this pin up, but it's actually so useful. And I don't know why I didn't use it because I mean, it has so much purpose. S pin to text. Jeez. Having a pin on the phone is actually a big up. And I've had instances where I've needed to like maybe sign contract, maybe need to write something. I feel better when I write something down than like text it out in my notes. I don't know if that's like anyone else. Like I like to write stuff physically and I think this is a great alternative to that. So enjoy your S pen. Oh, I will. So once you pop out the pen, it does come up with this little pen icon where you can pretty much quick write on the screen, I think. Wow, so it'll screenshot, you can quick write. This is crazy for like so many purposes and like taking notes, any type of screenshots, pictures, that's so cool. Oh, it record. is it recording? Oh, it records a certain area of the screen. That is so cool. Yo, why does not, why does an iPhone have this? What is happening? Dude, now I'm kind of mad. I feel like there are so many features I have literally never seen in my life. And now I'm, I'm just thinking like, why hasn't iPhone come out with any of these? I'm gonna be honest, if this phone just keeps surprising me, I'm gonna switch indefinitely. Like I'm just never gonna go back to iPhone. I've been doing iPhone since day one, bro. But man, the only thing that's stopping me is green bubble text. I'm telling you, I would have been, I would have been on it last year. We're gonna listen to this. We're gonna pull it up on our phone, our iPhone too, and we're gonna compare the two. This is all the way turned up. This is the Samsung now. Let's turn it up. All right. Honestly, I think the iPhone sounds deeper. Like it, it, yeah. Like we're we're talking about the bass. I don't know about clarity wise. The iPhone, I can hear more bass, and it just sounds fuller. But I feel like I can hear more sounds inside of the music in the Samsung. I can hear the details as to what is in the music better on the Samsung, but the iPhone is definitely louder. And what I'm truly excited for, man, I've, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Y'all don't even understand my, my hype. Just want a good camera. 
All right, so the Samsung does have a 200 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide one, and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera. So yes, it does have a better camera than iPhone, a lot of better cameras than iPhone. That is, cr I can see every single bit of that wood in the table. Oh, I think one of the big issues that I had with iPhone is that on its 0.5 lens, I have no idea what they're doing camera wise with that, but Samsung definitely needs to keep it up. The photos look beautiful. The videos look beautiful. The portrait mode looks absolutely stunning. I'm just a huge fan of what Samsung is doing with their cameras. And that's been one of the biggest pulls for me when, oh my gosh, I just found a new feature. I've never seen this in Samsung before. I think they added this more. I've never seen this. This is so cool. Hyperlapse, what is that? And you can export the raw footage. They got night mode. It's honestly insane. There's so many features here that I just have no idea what they are. I wanna get more in depth. They have an AR zone. So this is like augmented reality. Hey man, how do I look? Be honest, be honest. How do I look right now? Hello? Somebody screenshot that. I'm excited for the day in the life. I'm excited to see what I can really do with this thing. I'm excited to show you guys even more of the features that this thing can really do. iPhone, listen, Apple, step it up. This is not a good look, you know? I wanna be an Apple fanboy, you know what I'm saying? But if we're not gonna improve a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? But if you did enjoy this video, man, I appreciate all you guys. We've been growing so much. If you don't even already notice, I'm in a brand new apartment, downtown Atlanta. I love you guys so much. We've been growing on YouTube. Just hit 50,000 subs. And we haven't even been consistent. I'm gonna get consistent. We're doing 100K, I promise you. We're gonna, we're gonna grind that out. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, share it to a friend that you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.